In this video, you will learn about moving SQL Server database from local computer or on-premises server to Azure SQL. After that, you will learn how you can bring that database from Azure SQL database to local computer or on-premises servers. So let's get started. Now, as you can see in SQL Server, I have installed AdventureWorks database. Now I'm going to take this database to Azure SQL. For that, I need to right click on Adventure Work Database, then Task, and here you see Export Data Tier Application. I'll click here and then I'll click on Next. And here I need to specify the local disk path, or I can directly save this on. Microsoft Azure storage account but in this case I am going to store it locally on my desktop I'll name it adventure works and I'll click on save then next and finish Now this operation is complete. I'll close it and now I'll head to Azure portal. Here I'll click on add to add resource group and I'll use demo one as resource group name and I'll create it and I'll navigate to resource group and again I'll click on add I will type SQL database and then select SQL database and here click on create. Now I am going to name this database as demo1 and then make sure you select here blank database and click on server I'm going to create new database server so I'll type demo 1212 yes this is available I will write here my admin name so I'll use demo 1 as username and Let's go ahead and create a really complex password in Notepad. And my username is demo1. I will copy this password and paste it here. I'll click on select now. and then I need to select pricing tire here I will select S0 DTU and size to 1 GB and then apply and now hit on create so this is running the validation and after that it will create SQL Server database Now let me click on refresh here and you can see SQL Server is created with name demo1212 and I am still waiting for a database demo1 here and now deployment succeeded and I have demo1 database. I can safely delete it because I am going to restore my AdventureWorks database here. So I can safely click on demo1 and then delete. I need to type database name and then click on delete. Now click on demo1212 SQL Server. Now let's go ahead and add firewall here. 
because for a security reason I need to allow my local IP address here so that I can connect this database and this server from my local SQL Server Management Studio so I'll click on add client IP and then I hit on save for now I just allowed my IP address and this is successful I'll click on OK now let's go ahead and click on property and now here I have server name I'll copy it and in SQL Server Management Studio I'll click on connect and I'll use server name here and I have username demo1 and this password and I hit connect now you can see I am connected with Azure SQL database I'll expand databases and you see no database here now in order to import my database backpack file which we created from local adventure work database I'll right click on databases and import data tire application click on next and here select database I stored that on desktop you see it here I'll open it and then next now again here if you remember we selected S0 pricing and then size to 1 GB right and click on next and then click on finish this may take several minutes depending on the size of your database and now this operation is complete let's close it and here you see adventure Vox database if I expand this and then I expand tables and you see all the tables here let's open person dot address select of thousand records and you see the output here now let's assume that you want to move this Azure SQL database to your local instance or on-premises server you need to follow the same steps right click on Azure SQL database and in the task you will see option extract data tier application just click it and follow through the steps and it will ask you to provide the storage location and then right click on your local SQL Server database and then here you see import data tier application and select that file and you will have your SQL Server database on your local instance or on premises now let's move to Azure portal and you see adventure works database here let's go ahead and click on this here you can see a great option data explorer which is still in preview click on this and click on login and here you see tables views and store procedures expand tables and you see all the tables here as well and now I am all set to run SQL query here and see the result down here so in this video you learned how you can move your local SQL database to Azure SQL database and then move your SQL database from Azure to your local SQL server or any on-premises server. Thank you so much for watching.